All right, welcome back. This is Dan Harley with Tech Talk with Dan Harley. This is uh, Tech Talk episode number 86. Five low cost ways for restaurants to advertise online, recorded on March 28, 2017. I got a call from a friend of mine who owns a restaurant and had an interesting question that we're going to turn into an episode out of it here, Joe. So, um, anyway, the last episode, episode number 85, was reviewing the Flock loyalty app system. Which was the reason the episode was the reason why I got the question. So if you're a restaurant owner or bar owner, uh, if you want to looking for a great loyalty app or a customer loyalty system, you want to check out that episode and check out the review that it did on the Flock app. So before we get into today's topic here, let me go through some announcements and we'll get into the details of the fun part here. First of all, thanks for listening and watching. I very much appreciate it. Uh, this is why I keep going to do these episodes. Uh, you folks out there, I'm just trying to help you guys out. Let me know if you had any questions or and all this stuff. I'll turn it up the episode like we did here. Uh, and I also want to uh, appreciate my major sponsor, Carbonite, to uh, jumping on board here. Uh, if you're listening on iTunes or Android podcast directories, uh, you please rate my show, submit a review. And I really appreciate that because it helps my my reader my um, listeners grow listenership grow there. If you're on YouTube watching on YouTube here, please subscribe to my channel, leave comments, leave questions, leave kudos. Appreciate that there. If you need to find me anywhere, uh, go to primeconsoles.net. Links to the podcast show is there, along with uh, links to the show itself and also some free tutorials on. Um, on business-related internet topics, and especially my free, my favorite one, free and almost free ways to advertise your business online. Either way, please pass the word, t share the episode, tell others about the podcast on the YouTube channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. And a uh, little legal disclaimer here: products mentioned in this episode and other episodes of Tech Talk with Dan Harley could be paid as affiliate commissions, promotional commissions, or the liking by the product or service provider. In other words, I just might try to sell you something while we're here. Uh, in fact, I want to make sure you guys know about Carbonite. I have a special there. Let me go back over here and make sure I got the proper way there. If you have ever, if you have never backed up your computer or imported data on your computer, uh, you can lose it in a split second. Uh, your accounting files, personal data, personal documents, family pictures, and, and other important uh, files can be lost uh, immediately. So that's where your, uh, something like Carbonite comes in, comes in really handy. It's a cloud, it's a cloud backup service. Very easy to install, very easy to use. Backs up everything on your computer automatically. You don't have to know technical skills. Great high quality encryption. Your father Dales are very well protected and secured. No worries, no hassles. Uh, they have a very affordable plan for less than 20, cent, 20 cents a day. Back up your entire computer and protect your entire computer from data loss. So try it free at primecostes.net slash. It's free for 60 days, or something like that. Free at primecostes.net slash. Link slash Carbonite. That's primeconsoles.net slash link that slash Carbonite. Try it for free and with no credit card necessary. If you like it, keep on you can pay for it. Very, very cheap. If not, you can go on about your business. So anyway, that's primeconsoles.net slash link slash Carbonite for that free offer. Anyway, back to our topic of the day, which is low, five low cost ways for restaurants to advertise online. Anyway, like I mentioned, uh, a friend of mine who owns, excuse me here, i got to get my um, uh, my headset set up correctly here. By the way, if you ever wondered why I'm wearing a headset on a YouTube channel, those of you on YouTube here, uh, it's because we do a podcast show at the same time, so I have to kind of monitor my uh, my audio as well. So that's how I, I have this on here. So anyway, um, and you notice other people on YouTube don't have the <laughs> headsets. This is... A kind of a necessary evil why I'm doing uh, simulcast, doing both a podcast show as well as a YouTube channel. So uh, that's another question for somebody asked. I forgot to answer. So there's two questions I'm answering today. So anyway, um, a little story I have here is a fr friend of mine, a restaurant owner, asked a question here. Some questions. They listened to last episode on the Flock app, and he really wanted to know how to get his business online. He's kind of way behind times. He's not, not a techie. Didn't have a website, and but he gets bombarded with bombarded with people wanting him to sell him internet stuff like the food vendors want to sell a website, credit card vendors want to sell a website. He actually went to the phone company one time, and it was a complete failure, big waste of time. And he also got the Yelp people keep on calling him all the time. And if those of you who are who have a restaurant, a bar, or whatever, you know they're just like wolves. So anyway, he's left very confused. And also very concerned. He knows he needs to be online somehow, some way. And 
and he knows that uh, like the chain stores, the chain restaurants are seem to be taking away large share of his customers. He thinks because it's online. So he wanted to know what he can do that is doesn't require a lot of technical skills, low cost, no cost, no low cost or no cost, and most important, in fact, effective. So anyway, I'm not gonna. I I try to limit my time on these podcasts so we don't you know drag out for hours on this thing. So. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to cover in detail, thoroughly cover this, this topic in detail, but I'm going to give you some sound general advice, uh, links to some great tools and some great resources, and steer you in the right direction. Okay, so anyway, the first um, tip I'm going to give you is email marketing. And the reason being is email is by far the most used internet service on the on, uh, even now, even though email has been around forever. Okay, and uh, over 90% of those people using the internet have an email account. That's that's more than anybody has Facebook or, or Google or, or, or Twitter or all that stuff. Email is by far the most used service. And therefore, why that's the reason why you can't ignore it as a, as a, as a source. Email market is a source of, of touching your customers, your current or, or, or new customers. So now we're not talking about spamming. We're talking about legitimately subscribed emails. That's uh, it's actually very easy to do, and very effective. You don't need a website. In fact, you can so you can start with a yellow pad of paper, yellow pad and a pencil together email address, literally. Okay, and you can touch regular customers, and new customers, stay connected with, stay connected with your regular customers, and keep them coming back. Um, a beauty about the, all this stuff is uh, constant contact, which I've been a partner with for quite a while here. Uh, they're the big cheese of email marketing, and they have excellent excellent program to how to, to show uh, show small business owners uh how to create an effective email marketing program of, of their own it's easy cheap and very effective and you don't have to be that technically inclined to do it okay and what's the beauty of all this is they give you a free trial for 60 days to train you and use their service for 60 days so it's a great opportunity so the link to go to that, to, to try out this email marketing plan here, is at primeconstant.net slash link slash constant contact. That's primeconstant.net slash link slash constant contact. Or you can go to primeconstant.net and look under resources and services. You'll see the link there, Okay, as well as the show notes here too. Okay. Number two is managing your local business listing and online reputation, uh, reputation management. Okay such as YouTube, Google, and stuff like that. So most businesses don't know how to manage their online business listings. They uh, they don't realize that they're never touching at all. They might have wrong phone numbers, wrong addresses, or no listings at all. And um, and also you get reviews re without responses. And these could be on Yelp or Google or Facebook and many other, many of these, uh, other online business directories. And not having these things can damage the reputation. And uh, customers, you might find uh, if you have a situation where customers, even if you're a restaurant or not, okay, a any business, if your customer, if you have not done any type of reputation management or or local listing management, and all of a sudden your customers mischievously stop showing up, okay, you, uh, out of nowhere, one of the reasons might be is might be you. Uh, this might be a reason why you suddenly have the loss of business is something happening your online reputation. Okay. Now it can be a real pain in the ass to try to um, manage all this stuff because there's a lots of relative, relevant relevant directories, and just managing the major ones, Google, Yahoo, Bing, and all that stuff, can be a pain in the butt. Okay, I'll be out front with it. Now, the other side of here, properly managing these services, the, these 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 credentials, these online business directories, could be a huge gold mine. Mind you, most most businesses don't manage this stuff okay so even just staying on top of it which doesn't really require a lot of technical skills just a little bit of know how okay can get you a gold mine of customers where your comp competition were 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 are at where you were if you did not mon manage it so now i have a um and, and uh, you can what you can do to manage it real simply you just update the business list and make sure you have proper name address and phone number as well as check reviews and responding to them properly. All right. Now I have a free service to allow you to check your online business listings and all the major 
uh, directories and Google Yelp and all that stuff. It's at primeconstant.link slash business listing report. That's primeconstant.net slash link slash business listing report. Now, you can go back to, again, go back to my website, primeconstant.net, and look for the free business listing report right on the homepage there. You can find that there. And you re, and you give reports all the relevant online business credentials right there. Okay. And then you got the, you can, uh, from there, you can base, figure out what you'd have to fix and all that stuff. Um, next thing here, now this is a, this number three can be uh, one or several episodes on its own. Social network marketing. Okay. This is probably the most important free, almost free resource to manage, to market your, your restaurant. Okay, like I said, I can go way deep in this thing here, and it probably should, but because of time, we're going to cover the important ones really quick, and then I'll give you a little a, a resource to be able to manage these things real, real, much easier. Okay, the important ones are Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Okay, now Facebook, obviously, because it's the largest social, largest social networking sites, and the fast way to connect with your potential customers. Okay. Instagram is basically owned by Facebook, so it's essentially the photo blog that can be uh, of Facebook that can be shared within Facebook friends. Okay, YouTube is the world's largest video sharing site, and, and there's a reason for that. And Twitter is very very large following. Is and the way that Twitter works actually? Essentially, you connect with everyone and can talk to everyone at one time, rather than, for instance, like with Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Or uh, uh, where you have to have people to follow you before they see what you're doing. Twitter, you can essentially talk to everybody. But now, <laughs> where they listen to is a different story. Okay. Now, what you need to do. Okay. This, I'm sorry. This is I don't get much detail here, but you need to create create a Facebook page, an Instagram account, a Twitter account, and a YouTube channel. Okay. And you need to post regularly on on all this stuff. You need to post uh, pictures of food, uh, videos of cooking and recipes. Uh, special events, special going on, uh, um, special uh, parties, whatever, events, um, and uh, keep on regular posting that. The more you post, the more people will tend to follow you and, and click on you and like you, and, and it'll snowball into it into a quite, a, quite a, uh, uh, an impressive amount of people, okay? Now, when I mentioned it could be a very full-time full -time job in itself, just dealing with that. And I fully understand that. Just doing my stuff is is <laughs> pretty daunting. I can be I can spend a lot of time just following my dozens of, of Twitter accounts and pages and stuff like that. But there's a tool I use that's relatively expensive that I do to manage all this stuff at one time. The thing is called Hootsuite, and it's a, a great social network management tool. I have all my accounts, all my clients' accounts. Plugged into Hootsuite, I'm able to blast and monitor everything from one location, basically one dashboard. And the beauty of it, it's all a whopping six bucks a month. So uh, the link to that is at primeconstant.net slash link slash Hootsuite. That's primeconstant.net slash link slash Hootsuite. And once again, this link is available at primeconstant.net under the resources and services directory. Uh, page as well as going to be on the show notes here too. So, number four um, is going to be a website. And I know this sounds this is like it's technical. In fact, the question isn't this a little technical? In fact, I, one of my friend mentioned is now, well, not as technical as it used to be. Okay. Uh, nowadays, it's actually pretty easy to build your own website. In fact, I encourage my clients when they say, I need a website. Well, Build it yourself first. If you can't build it, come back to me. We'll work it all out. Okay. Um, nowadays, even a, a WordPress website, a very comp, a very sophisticated Word, Word, WordPress website can be built with uh, with little technical skills. Okay. Just some good general information gets you in the right direction. Okay. In fact, I have a tutorial on PrimeConstant.net on how to build your own website within about three to five days and a very a very thorough. Um, the tutorial too and there's plenty of others out there too i'm just you know brag about mine because it's good it's my stuff but uh, there's lots of stuff out there to show you how to build a very impressive wordpress style website um on and uh, do it yourself okay now the more, more important part of it is not 
how easy or complicated that what you need to do with the website okay because um and the, the big thing here is you gotta start need to start blogging okay the websites can become a foundation a, a resource for the content you're going to be using to blast all your social networking and, and blast on emails okay so you want to start blogging share recipes uh share uh, um events and event pictures uh use it and like i said use it as a content source for your social networking and your email marketing um, also a very effective thing you need to do too is an online menu okay not necessarily um Make, having your menu online and keep it, you know, somewhat updated, uh, make it convenient for, to make phone orders, okay? So you're able to expand your business out beyond your doors and start getting phone orders and more easier. Now, I'm going to uh, encourage you, to, this is short of doing complete online ordering, which could be extremely technical. In fact, um, if you want to deal in that realm here, I have some resources that get, get you in that realm too. But we're talking about simply Putting your menu online very simple text-based thing nothing too complicated okay nothing no e-commerce or anything just simply a page with your with your menu okay so any anyway, number five is i'm going to go back to the uh, reviewing the previous episode and talk about using the flock the flock loyalty app okay even though i just recently reviewed that uh this is something very seriously to look into you know, why is because of the i'm getting a little technical here it's called the push notification okay i'll tell you the the more in the 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 more simplistic about it the way they send messages to customers is pretty unique and i think it's gonna it's something to very seriously look at uh you're able to send messages based on distance from the property okay let's say uh, if if you have a customer coming within a mile or with an uh, 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 within a mile or a half mile or or even five or ten, I think the limit, limit is 50 miles of your restaurant facility, you can actually send a, a text message to them. Okay. Um, you can also send, send a specific dates like their birthdays or if you have a certain event um, or if, if upon arrival, if they happen to be in the restaurant, you can send a welcome message to them. So um, if you can imagine, that should be very powerful means to communicate with your loyal customers is certainly going to be something pretty interesting and um, what's interesting is block made it very app pretty easy to set up and manage um, something that could be frankly pretty complicated is i'm surprised how easy it is so you need minimal technical skills and actually relatively low cost too uh, i think the, the the minimum application is a little less than 20 bucks a month so it's pretty uh, affordable uh, relatively affordable so anyway more information on that is at primeconsoles.net slash link slash flock f-l-o-k f-l-o-k that's primeconsoles.net slash link slash flock or review episode number 85 which is the one before this one for more detailed information on the flock app now um i know that i'm giving a lot of information in a very short time and i apologize for that but and I know there are a lot more uh, ways to promote your restaurant online for little or no cost, and I want you to know, and I want you to know more. If you want, if you want to know more, I'm all means. You can call me for a for, call us for a free initial consultation, and we'll steer you in the right direction. So, um, and we'll probably do more shows and expanding this out. In fact, I might do a whole series on, on tutorial in this here too. So, anyway. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you some of your restaurant tourists take advantage of what I brought here in this episode. And please make sure you leave some comments and questions on the YouTube page or the episode page on primeconstant.net. And I appreciate you guys listening here. So anyway, um, thanks for listening, folks. Thanks for watching and listening. Uh, and I hope uh, good luck and Godspeed to your online success.